Hey guys, welcome to part two of the basics for making reflex tracks in Leveler. What we're going to be looking at here on this one is our different tools that we have available to us. Our dig tool, our raise tool, our blur tool, and our smudge tool. And I'm just going to uh, kind of demonstrate how uh, or whether, or rather, uh, what they do and what I tend to use them for. So, I've got a new file open here. I'm just going to make a jump so I can show you what uh, this stuff does. We're gonna make it something crazy, like let's do uh, 40 feet, yeah, something crazy. massive jump right here oh well we don't want that okay okay control D to deselect and then I'm using my space bar to uh, toggle between our stuff and whatever tool you have activated last is what it uses as the fourth tool so it's pretty cool you can uh, move stuff around in here to kind of see what it's doing from a side view or whatever view you want so let's look at the dig tool now uh, I've already been working with this so my stuff is already set to a different setting than what you're going to have. Uh, stock setting is set to 0.5. I'm going to show you what 0.5 does. And depending on what you need to use it for, it might work just for you. <clears throat> what I tend to use uh, these tools for is just working or warping uh, elevation. I generally set... Uh, the jumps and whatnot uh, with the ramp tool. So what we're going over here is just kind of shaping things or shaping the exterior around our track and jumps and whatnot. So with a 0.5 strength and a brush of 25, the stock one is set to 10. I'm going to show you what 25 does. And we'll do it right here on the side so we can get kind of a idea of what it does. So one click. And you can see just what it's done right there. And with the dig and raise tools, you have different styles to choose from. So let's see what sharp does. So sharp, instead of it being rounded, has a very sharp uh, raise pattern to it. What's flat have? Let's pick a new spot over here. Ooh. So it flattened it down, but it's not very smooth at all. I don't know. That might work if you use a lot of blur but for what I usually do I usually don't do this or uh, use 0.5 unless I need to drastically lower or raise my elevation so we are going to control Z and then I'm going to also show you while we're doing this that you can go up to your edit and you can clear undo buffer and that is going to save you on some of your undoing stuff because if you're working with a file you've been spending you know like 30 minutes on it and you've got lots of undos it sometimes will take much longer to undo that process so if you're uh, fine with the corrections that you've already made go ahead and hit that undo uh, 
undo buffer there. <clears throat> and that'll save you a lot of time. Uh, I think that you can also um, change that somewhere in here. I think advanced and undo memory. You can uh, limit your undo to a specific uh, size. You can also limit your whole application in total. But I usually don't mess with it. It's usually just fine as is. So let's look at the raise tool. Well, actually, hold on. Let me show you what point one does. Point one is very subtle. And I like that it's subtle because it gives me the best results. So since this is a pretty big jump, let's just up our brush and like, it looks like we're doing nothing, but we are. We are doing something, as you can see now. It's very subtle. And uh, when you get to working with stuff, you'll see that sometimes subtle's better. This idea of using a brush on top of it is generally not ideal, but what you could use this for is if you had a outside and an inside of one takeoff and you wanted the inside or even a part of the jump to look more worn, this would be a good uh, example of doing that. So uh, yeah, let's control Z a whole bunch of times because I don't remember how many times I clicked. So it looks like it's undid. Yeah, that looks, yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> let's move on to dig. So once again, uh, same thing with the strength. Um, I like to have uh, some subtle subtlety to things. And at the moment with this one, I can't really show you any uh, practical uses for it. Let's see uh, if I was to try and use the raised brush to make a berm, which um, I've been experimenting with Leveler and trying to see if there's a good method to make a berm. And so far, what I've come to conclude is that there's not. <laughs> there might very well be, but so far I have not discovered it. I have not. I wish I had put that over here because now you can see what is going on. And if you're steady with your hands, your mouse, you can click once and that will. Because as you see right there, we had a little spot. This um, isn't too bad. It's... Uh, not uniform though. It's not something that we would want to have. Uh, at least I wouldn't anyway. And then you can also do stuff in here to your see, see fit anyway. But um, yeah, you could literally spend forever trying to uh, make a jump or, or rather a berm in here like this and you know this uh, this doesn't look terrible I mean it kind of does but for what for what you would be trying to do it would still get you around the track it's just not going to be as aesthetically pleasing but <clears throat> that's what the raise tool does with just uh, point one so subtlety is definitely uh, appreciated. Here's what point five looks like. So if you need to make something like right now, that is your tool. You can also use 
this tool uh, much like you would the paint option for making uh, bumps and whatnot. I myself have not um, used this method with making bumps and whatnot. I usually just use Photoshop, but um, you know, there's more than one way to do things, and that's kind of the cool thing is that you can get, you could still get similar results using different techniques. And so this is kind of a good segue to uh, the blur tool, because uh, <laughs> for this one, I want to go ahead and blur it. Now, if you hold blur, it's going to blur everything at uh, a single rate. If you just click your blur, it's only going to blur a little bit versus if I went here where and it just blurred all of any detail. You can also then start to get um, bigger brushes and it will significantly uh, destroy whatever you had going on. <laughs> which is sometimes good when you're trying to just develop elevation. In this case, because um, you can continually try and do this and you will get it to eventually go down to a certain level where it's totally smoothed out. You know? So like something like this uh, might not actually be bad for like uh, a straightaway section or something where you have just enough elevation that you're bouncing around and then it gives the impression that the track itself is kind of rough. So let's hop on over here with our smudge tool and what I'm going to do or recommend is that when you use the smudge tool I generally use it for extending out uh, ruts and making the uh, track look like it's eroded on the sides of like a mountain or hill or on the sides of jumps. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and blur this edge. And then now we're going to go to our smudge tool. And I like the 10 pixel brush. With how high this jump is, though, it might not translate well, but we shall see. Yeah, because it's so high, so it's not really uh, it's not really doing all that much. And that's okay. Eventually, it will look like we're doing something here. So if I just do it a whole bunch of times, or click a bigger brush. Let's brush some more of this out. And basically, wherever you click is where it's going to start smudging, just like it would in Photoshop. And so let's go back to that smaller brush, because now we have a little bit more uh, to work with. And you start to get these nice um, spots where, like, you can start to see uh, possibilities of it eroding away and looking much more natural. And then uh, you can go back ahead and lightly blur that as well. So it looks a little bit more of a natural type thing. This still here, meh, doesn't look too natural. I feel like if it was this tall, it would be probably out to here or something. But this is just a tutorial, and these are just the basics. And uh, I think that is it for this one, guys. I will be back with uh, part three. And uh, until then, uh, later, guys.